Hi guys, so today is going to be a video about the Cricut and how to design on your iPad and get your Cricut to cut it out for you. So in my last video, I had said that I had drew this on my iPad and got it on my envelopes and I now offer this in my shop. So a lot of people had asked, how do you do that? How do you draw on your iPad and get, get it on your envelope. So that is going to be this video. Hopefully this helps. If you guys have any more questions, leave them below and I can do another video about Procreate if you guys are curious. So the app that I am using is called Procreate. It is in the App Store. Um, it is not available on Android devices but it is for Apple. It is this app right here. I believe it is $10, but when I tell you that I use this app basically every single day, it is an amazing app. I absolutely love it. My iPad is a couple generations older, I believe. I think I got it in either 2019 or 18, and I use it with my Apple Pencil here. My iPad is actually how I use Cricut as well. And the Cricut app is on the App Store as well. This is how I design all of my envelopes and everything like that. So we're gonna hop right into Procreate here. So the first thing you wanna do is create a canvas. I personally like to create a canvas that is kind of like the size of the envelope. So this proportioned is, there's a, a dot over here that's bothering me. This is proportioned to what the vinyl looks like on the envelopes, but we're gonna create a canvas. So you're gonna go up to this plus icon right up here. You can use any size. So you're gonna click this plus option up here and you're gonna create your canvas. Right now it's in pixels. We wanna switch it to inches and we're gonna make it 6.5 width and 3.5 high and you're gonna click create. For the brushes, you'll click up here to your brush icon and these are all your brushes. You can import brushes, I have done that. Um, here are some I've imported. But under the calligraphy tab, there's a brush called Monoline. This is the brush I use 99% of the time. It comes with the app. It is just the same width no matter your pressure or anything like that. And this is the brush I use. This is your undo button over here. You can also take two fingers and double tap and it will undo. I want to design a Halloween themed envelope. I have a really cool font that I have. I want to use it with a little ghost. That's what we're gonna design here today. Also, I am going to use just regular Safari and I have pulled up images of a ghost outline. You cannot take this image, stick it on your envelope and call it a day. That is not, that's, you can't do that. These images are copyrighted 99.999% of the time. You're stealing someone else's work and you should draw it yourself. So we're gonna try and draw a ghost here. I am not the greatest, so there's gonna be some little hiccups and whatever else. But if you scroll up, you can do split screen on my iPad. I believe most iPads now you can do that, so hopefully you can on yours. So we're going to pull open Procreate on the left side, and we're going to try to draw a ghost. Like I said, I like to have my ref, excuse me, re reference image over here. So we're going to try and draw one. I really like the ones without arms. So let's see here. It's kind of like this guy too. He's cute. So let's see. I think I can scoot this over. Yep, just a little bit more. We're gonna do a simple little outline and see how this turns out. So let's see. Okay. We're just gonna kind of get the hang of drawing. Okay, if this side was better, we could have left it. That one's too big. And then if we did two little eyes, that's kind of cute, right? So I clicked this little cursor icon and I can move him around and center him or set him off to the side. If you click this wrench tool, you can add text. So let's say this one is personal. We're gonna click the cursor and bring it down. 
And then I'm going to click the little A's and this is the font I want with this with these envelopes. I think that would be so cute. I don't personally add the font on Procreate, but this kind of gives me an idea of what it would look like. I'm going to swipe off of Safari and I think I want to try messing with this ghost just a little bit more. So up here is your layers tool. I'm going to delete this text layer and I'm going to click this plus button and add a new layer and hide this under layer right now. And I'm going to draw another ghost until I'm completely happy with it. I'm not really happy with this edge right here. So I'm going to draw that and I will be back. Okay, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to show you guys. Ah, my iPad's going nuts. We're going to turn on this other layer. And here is the other ghost. And here is this one. We're going to add eyeballs to this guy here. So we're going to turn off this label. Lay layer. Jeez. Okay, so for his eyes, I'm just going to draw a circle. And if you hold down, you can see at the top here, it says edit shape. And you can either, if it's a perfect circle, you can click circle, but this is not. So I'm going to stretch them just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of move it down like this. Okay. I'm going to fix this little spot here because you can see it's not perfect. And here is one eyeball. If you hold your color down here, oh, that switched it. If you drag your color, you can fill in the eyeball. And I'm going to go up to this little guy right here and click freehand. And this is going to allow me to select certain things. And I'm going to copy and paste it and move it over here. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. That's cute, right? So his eyeballs will be see-through um, unless we make the ghost, unless we do this. Hold on, I'm gonna undo all this and undo up until his eyeball is filled. And what we'll do is select his eyeball and copy and paste this way. Turn it just a little bit like this. And if I drag and fill in, oh, so what happened was this eyeball is on its own layer. So when I filled it in, it's filling in the whole spot. So we're going to take two fingers and pinch these two layers together. And now it's all in one layer. And so now his eyeballs will be see-through and his body will be the color of the vinyl. So if I turn off this background color, you can see his eyeballs are transparent. So that is going to be what's see-through. I could also leave him like this and it just be an outline kind of like this. And I could also make him a little thicker if I wanted to do that. Let's move him over. So this is where he'll be. Um, I can't decide if I want him to be an outline or if I want it to be filled in. I think I want it to be filled in like this. And then your wording over here, if we add text and put personal, your wording would match the color of the ghost. I think that would be cute, right? We'll go with this for now. And if you guys don't like it, then we can change it. So I'm gonna delete this text layer again, and I'm actually gonna delete this layer of the ghost that we're not using. So here we have our little ghost, right? I'm gonna go up to my layer tool and turn off the background color. Go back up to your wrench, and you're gonna click share. Now here's where it's important. If you're gonna insert this into Cricut, you wanna save it as a PNG. This is going to save it with that transparent background. I'm going to save the image. So let's go to Cricut. So you'll go to upload and I'm gonna select it from my photo library because that's where I saved it. And it's right here. 
And so when I insert it, you can see that it has this checkered background. That means that that is transparent. And his eyeballs are transparent as well. If you were to save it with that white background, none of that is going to be taken out. So we will click apply. You have to make sure you do the cut unless you are doing something different like a sticker, but we are doing vinyl. So we are going to do cut. Print and cut will not work for the, for the cash envelopes. So we're gonna save this, I'm gonna save it as boo, and click done. Now it's going to pull it into your, your app. So here is your little ghost. I'm going to go down to the edit tool and we are going to make it three inches high. And here he is. Here is our little ghost. It will go to text and let's make this one, we'll do savings, okay? Then you'll go down to your font and you're gonna change it to whatever font you want. And that is kind of what your envelope will look like. I'm gonna change this like that so it'll all cut the same. And a way to make sure that it's going to fit on your envelope is select both of them. And if you go to edit, you can see the width. This says 6.5. So that would fit. I am gonna shrink this wording just a little bit to 3.75 width to make sure that it fits good. And I think I'm gonna make the ghost, instead of three inches high, we're gonna do 2.8, just a tiny bit smaller. And that is kind of what your envelope is going to look like. Then you would click make it. And here are your two images. So I'm going to send this to cut and I will show you guys the finished product. All right, so I decided to go with white. So I'm going to cut off the bottom section of this vinyl that I have not used and I can use this for something else. But now we are going to weed out this vinyl to show you guys that it worked. We're gonna get out this little center of the A and his little eyeballs. Looky there, how cute. So now we're going to transfer this on. I like to start off with the image and typically I put the image on the side with the zipper and we are going to get the little ghost here on my transfer tape. I get my transfer tape from Amazon. I line my envelope up with the base of my desk so that everything is nice and straight. We're gonna stick him on there. There's our little ghost, look how cute he is. And now we are going to do the wording. I always save transfer tape because you can use it time and time again. And again, I have shown in previous videos, if this happens, if you take your scraper and kind of use it to push down the letters as you pull up, your letters will stick perfectly to your transfer tape. So again, we're gonna line this up to the base of the desk. And I need to scoot it over just a little bit more. Smooth it down. And there is a cute little Halloween envelope. It turned out so cute. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This envelope design is going to be now available on my Etsy. As you are watching this, it is up. And I am so excited. This is honestly so cute. It's kind of exactly what I had in mind. So yeah, that's gonna be it. If you guys have any more questions or if you guys like these type of videos, definitely leave it down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.